All right, fellas, I want you to take me back to your NBA regular season debut, your first NBA game. Time to play basketball. It's opening night. It's surreal. A lot of emotion. What a atmosphere, B.A. It is live wire here. I've been dreaming about this my whole life. Make some noise! The arena's going to be crazy. It's going to be jumping. I'm just going to be ready to win and show what I got. Uh, Luca, what stands out to you about that yeah. night? Uh, we play against DeAndre, we lost. And the headline performers in tonight's game making their NBA debut. I have high expectations, and the reason why is because of what both guys have been able to do on lower levels, dominate. It was, I mean, it was just great to, to start, you know, <laughs> my journey in the NBA. It was just great for me to debut in this league. I mean, nerves? Did you feel like you played well? Did you play poorly? Is, was uh, it a blur? What, I played it? bad, for sure. Yeah, I played bad. I like eight points, I don't know. I played bad. You had 10 points. 10 points. 10 yeah. points and eight boards. Marvin, your, your NBA debut, what, what, will, what will you remember forever about that night? My first bucket. What was it? Uh, it, was a, it was a back down, uh, a little hook shot, left hand hook shot. Working on Crowder. Bagley. Welcome to the NBA, young man. Yeah, the boy. Uh, that was a, a, a big moment for me. Um, you know, just being anxious all day to get in the game and, and kind of just, you know, like, like Lucas said, start this whole thing, man. And um, I think my first bucket is definitely something that I remember. And what, what did you think? What, like, were you aware at that moment? Oh, wow, I just scored in the NBA. No, nah, I, I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't say that. Once I scored, it was just like, because of preseason and all of that, you know, I, I, I kind of scored, and it was just like I got used to it. Yeah. But when I scored that, um, it was kind of after the game where I was like, oh, yeah, that was my first, you know, points in the NBA. But in, in the moment, it was just like, you know, just keep playing, get back on defense, and um, you know, just it was just it, it, I just kept playing. So whatever my number is called, game, you know, I just gotta go hard, go 100 percent, do whatever I can. Like I said, to try to help, help us win. Us, it's over now. Just gotta keep moving forward and put it on. Did I hear you say you don't remember your first NBA basket? Did you say that? No, I do remember it. You do remember? What was it? It was an one. It was. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it was on me, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, who knows? That's why he over there. DeAndre Ayton going right at the Slovenian. The patience of this young rookie is just, I think, is ahead of his time. You had 18, 10, and 6 that night. 6 what? Assists? Um, oh, you almost had a triple double? Gas. Straight gas. What you mean? Four assists away? So so what do you remember about it? What was what stands out about that night? I just remember that was a big game. That was the one on the list. You know, uh, just to basically really start it off, like, you know, it's like, let's see, after this game, let's see where this takes me type of stuff. So, yeah, it was a fun game. Um, the crowd was in it, and yeah, it was just a really lit game. I think we have a lot of great vets on this team uh, to help us out, especially us young guys, and, you know, just to have great shooters as well. Um, you know, today they're really on me on protecting the basket and talking on defense as well, and, you know, just being the best communicator I can be, even though when fatigue is involved, and we did a great job tonight, and, you know, this is one of many. What about you, your first night? Regular, we were playing the Pacers, we were at their place. It was loud. Pacers in the blue, Memphis in the white, and the opening tip is up, and the Pacers have control of the first possession. It's crazy. They were all standing up, you know, did the whole starting lineup, bench lineup. Man, I just remember, I just remember seeing the difference between the uh, preseason crowd and the regular season crowd for the first time was like, yo, like, this is like, this is crazy. Like, I remember my first bucket was like a, just a layup. Anderson cuts, finds Jaron. Jaron Jackson Jr. puts his name in the scorebook in a regular season game for the very first time. I probably, I probably was like more open than I thought, and I could have dunked it, but I kind of just wanted to like break the seal. Like, the time. I was, yes. There's no time for that. It's just time, <laughs> yeah, to, it's just time to get this bucket. You know, I ain't, I ain't about that. Just get in the books. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. get one in the books, and we can. Get, do something else from there. Just the second teenager in Drizzy's history to start his career with four straight double-digit scoring games. How good is this guy going to be? You guys are, are battling for a playoff spot in the West. Yeah. The, the rest of you, to 
different degrees are all on kind of rebuilding teams. What what has it been like? And this goes for all of you. you come from big time college programs. You won a championship championships in Europe. What has it been like having to deal with more losing than you're used to? I mean, it's high, you know. I'll... Last year, you know, I maybe lost like five games, and the whole my life I was just about winning, you know. And I mean, it's hard to lose that many games, but I know. I think we're building something good there, so I'm good with that. Eagles up on Luca. Jazz have a foul to give. Luca launches a three. I say, yeah, losing is not the way I go. Um, I'm definitely not gonna get used to it as well. Um, you know, uh, when when it comes to losing, I just try to, you know, see what I got from that game. You know, that's why I tell people, like, I'm not really losing the game because I actually learned a lot from this game. And, you know, just try to not do it again next game. And, you know, just learn from it and just try to, you know, build my future and how I play in this league. He told me that he's learning so much and enjoying seeing the progress that he has made so far this season. Double-doubles to him are normal. This next step is to take it a little bit first. I would think it'd be easy to get impatient, right? You want to you want to be really good right away, especially early on. You know, you want things to click because that's how everything's been for, you know, most of us. So, but, you know, most of us understand like our situations. Understand, you know, it's a process. It's it's long term. You got to think big picture. Otherwise, you're just gonna hurt yourself if you keep you know keep doing the same thing over and over. You keep it's not gonna work. You gotta you know adapt. Stuff like that. So, but you know, all of us hate it. Like, never, never should get used to it. Never will. The goal is to win. You know, over everything else.